Alright, this is a tutorial for how to install Python on Linux. I'm running Linux Mint 18.1. Okay, so you go to python.org, you go to the Downloads tab, and then you'll see a bunch of, a drop-down menu for the different operating systems, and you want to click on Python 3.6.1. When you click it, you'll see if you're running Chrome, it'll download in the bottom left corner. After the file downloads, you can press this little arrow if you're running Chrome and click Show in Folder. And then it'll display the location of where your file downloaded. Or you can navigate manually to your default download folder for whatever browser you're using. Okay, so as you can see, the file's done. Python 3.6.1 tar.xz. Here's the file. Um, this is pretty much kind of like a zip file, and we need to extract it. So let's open the terminal and navigate to the folder that contains our tar xz file. So pwd shows where you currently are. We're in home slash squalor. So in the home folder, we're in the squalor folder. ls lists all the folders that are in the current folder. In this list, we see the downloads folder, so we want to change directory with cd and then type the name of the folder, downloads. We're going to type ls again, and it'll list all the files. And as you can see, the file that we just downloaded, python 3.6.1.tar.xz, is here. And basically, a tar file is kind of like a zip file and we need to extract it. So how we're going to do that is with the command tar space xvf, which is extract verbosely this file, and space, and then the file name. And then when that's done, it's extracted. And as you can see in the window in the left, there is the Python 3.6.1 folder. And so now we have to navigate into the folder. So I'll type ls, and it shows you the folder in blue, Python 3.6.1. So let's cd and type the name of the folder again. And now we're in the folder. So once we're in this new directory, we need to configure the files in the directory. And the command here is dot forward slash configure. And we let that run. OK, so now that it's complete, we have to run a sudo command. And now sudo just gives you administrative privileges. And then after sudo, we want to type make. And for admin privileges, you need to type in your password. So let's type in my password. Oh, whoops. Let's try that again. OK, there we go. And you want to let this finish up. OK, so the next command is sudo make install. And we let this go for a bit as well. All right, now that we're finished, we can close out the terminal. And let's try testing Python, or try running it. So let's open the terminal again, type Python 3. If you type just Python without the 3, uh, it might load an older version of Python. So we type Python 3. And let's test this out. So we'll say x is equal to 5. And let's print x plus 10, which should equal 15. And there it is. To exit, we type exit, open and close parentheses, and we're out. Okay, hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.